Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and I'm finally getting to this explosion box that I made. Sorry, it's so late. Um, we've had company. I cut my hand open, <laughs> um, and we've just been really busy trying to get ready um, for Christmas. So, here is the box that I made. These are all from tags, bags, boxes, and more. And these are the six inch tags, even though they measure three and a quarter by about two inches wide. So they're six inch, eight inch, nine inch, and 11 inch. Um, I just picked those sizes at random, but I liked how you could see each tag in behind the other one. So, and the finished um, size measures about five and a quarter inches high, and then it's four inches square. So that's that one. That's going to my grandmother. And then this one I did last week. This is for um, my aunt and my uncle. This is a Christmas one, and that opens like that. And the theme of this one is the 12 days of Christmas. So it just goes, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. And then you open it up, it says, a uh, partridge. Oops. So you can see it. In a pear tree. And then I have the partridge and the pear tree in the middle. Those actually come from this cartridge, the Joys of the Season, and it has the 12 Days of Christmas, but there's a mistake on here because it's saying 11 Ladies Dancing, 12 Lords of Leaping, but that's supposed to be 9 and 10, and then 11 is, I don't know, drummers and pipes. Anyway, uh, that's okay. I had to fix it, but that's alright. Um, and then I have two turtle doves, so then the next row of pockets has the next one. So two turtle doves, and I did the turtle doves. And then three French hens, with the little hen. Four calling birds, same idea. Oh, I might as well show you all of them. I've got two birds on there, but it's four calling birds. And then, whoops, five golden rings. And then we go to the next row, which is the green pockets. Six geese of laying. Seven swans of swimming. Oy. Eight maids of milking. It's a little bucket on the stool. And then nine ladies dancing. A little ballerina. And then we go up to the big ones. Now you're going to say there's four big ones. Where are you going to end it? You'll see. Okay, so it's ten lords of leaping. And eleven pipers piping. And 12 drummers drumming. So then the last one that I have, it says, Our Gift to You. So when they open it up, I'm actually going to do the little um, slots in the card, and I'm going to put a gift card in there for them. So that'll be the last one that they open. Now I've glued these ones down already. And then I've got these ones glued already, so I'm just working on the middle green part here. Um, okay, so here is my tag. And... For this part here, I just had a little round magnet number, and I just laid it on my paper, and I traced around it and then cut it out. I um, ink all the edges of everything, and that's kind of it. So it's really just a piece of paper with the little tabs so that you can um, glue it closed. Little tabs in there. So now we take a piece of paper, which is just a square, um, with the corners cut off. So in order to figure out what size paper you need, I just lay it on here and then I leave um, a half an inch um, on either side and then you just glue the tag down. And that's how you do it. Now when it's on the outside of the house, you can see that you can't see this little tab because if I put this on here like that, you're going to see that little tab part on the back. And you don't want that, if this is my finished side for the outside, you don't want to be able to see those tabs going around. On the inside of the box is fine because I don't want to see them on this side. See what I mean? Because they'd be on the inside like that. So on the inside of my box, I always put them like that. When I get to that final layer for the outside, I just glue them on the, on the inside like that. And then you don't see it on the outside. You got it? Wow, I said inside and outside a lot in those few sentences. Okay, so now you just glue this on like that. 
and you glue your tab down, and then you just measure your papers. So I don't have any really specific um, measurements, so sorry about that, but you can see that you just kind of make it up. And now the green one, see these are a little bit, sm the green's a little bit smaller than the blue, and the blue's a little bit smaller than the pink, and I like that you can see the layers of them. So we're just going to put glue on the bottom of this green one. And that part fell off, so we'll get to that in a second. Because I didn't hold it on long enough and it didn't dry. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you guys are having a hectic time leading into Christmas. Um, my husband jokes with me and says, Oh, did Christmas sneak up again on you this year, dear? Um, it happens every year. I have good intentions in January and I'm going to start my shopping early and get everything done and it never happens. I don't know why. Alright, I think because once Christmas is over I'm done and <laughs> you know, who wants to, after doing all the shopping and craziness, who wants to start it all over again so soon? And then this is going to be glued onto here glue this into the middle like that. And you can fold everything up just to so you can see what you're doing. And sometimes I glue all the things down and then I add the papers to them and sometimes I do each individual pocket first and glue the paper on it right then and there, which is actually easier. Okay, and then that's it.